On today's video, we're gonna talk about soundproofing and we're gonna test a theory. So here's what we've got. You know, I've used a lot of spray foam in the past, excellent insulator for heat transfer, but how well does spray foam actually work for sound transfer? And specifically, not just any sound we're talking about today, not just your radio playing in your kids' room upstairs, but what if your kids have friends over and they're stomping around? How much sound gets transferred from upstairs to downstairs? So here's what we've got. I'm actually in the garage here. We've got a bonus room upstairs. So we used open cell spray foam. I think I've got about six inches of spray foam here insulating us between the garage and that room above. We've got two by four floor trusses and then I've got inch and an eighth Advantech. So this is a beefy floor system. But how well would this spray foam protect against noise transfer from footfall? Now we don't have any sheetrock down, we don't have any flooring in yet, so this is not a perfect test on a finished house, but I think this is gonna give us some interesting results because we can duplicate this in another part of the house that doesn't have any insulation in. Okay, so here's what I've set up. I've got a sound meter right here and the sound of my voice around the sound meter, I'm gonna be general talking noise around 60 or so decibels. So we're gonna leave the sound meter downstairs. We're gonna go upstairs and I'm not just gonna talk. In fact, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk a little bit first. Let's see if we can hear that noise coming through. And then I'm gonna stomp around with my big red wing boots on and see what kind of noise we can transfer. So join me upstairs. Okay, Brett, are you ready? Ready. Okay, so I'm talking loudly up here. I'm talking loudly. I'm probably, my voice is probably 70 or 80 decibels when I talk this loudly. I'm curious to know what's happening on that sound meter below if I'm talking at this level. I have a feeling that that sound meter is gonna be quite a bit lower, at least 20 decibels lower than my voice level up here. Brett, what'd you find? It's only about 40. Yeah, so it does good with sound. Hey, I've got Brett, one of my project managers downstairs, and she said, that sound meter was around 40 when I was talking that loud. So this spray foam, this assembly is doing a good job with those kinds of noises. Let's switch to the Red Wing boots, giving some stomping. All right, so what'd the meter say, Brett? It's about 60 to 65. Yeah. So maybe a little bit of drop, maybe five decibels, maybe as much as 10 but you can absolutely hear that footfall traffic down there. You may be wondering what this black paper and this uh, mesh is. Stay tuned, we're gonna tell you on Friday's video about that, but let's test in another area of the house. All right, so now we're in the main living room. This is the living room that has the kitchen off it. I've got the staircase and the front door over here. So this is really where the bulk of the main party space is gonna be. And above us here is a room that's got pool table, kids, lots of activity. This is really the space that we want to protect the noise coming from downstairs. Now in this case, we don't have any spray foam in, so we can use this as a test comparing this room to the other room we just were in with had spray foam on the floor line. We've got the sound meter set up. Let's go upstairs and do the same test with the yelling and the stomping and see how we do. Okay, so now we're upstairs. That sound meter is directly below me. I'm gonna talk loud. Let's see if I'm at like 70 decibels now we do of course have an open stairway, no doors. Brett, when I'm talking loud like this, what's that meter reading? Either 40 or it stops reading at all. So yeah, pretty amazing. We've got a lot of structure here. It's a pretty good distance. You can't really hear the talking noise even when I'm crazy loud. Let's see what footfall does. What'd you find, Brett? Yeah, so really similar. Maybe a couple decimals less where we had that spray foam in that space below us, but otherwise really not much change. Now I showed you, or I alluded to this before, you don't often see black paper and mesh on this floor. Stay tuned for Friday's video. I'm gonna show you the ultimate solution for footfall noise and soundproofing between floors in your house.